So hi everyone, welcome to Logic Quest Academy. Here we are trying to find out number of non-negative integral solution for the given equation, which is 7x plus 13y equal to 1001. Okay. So let us see how do I approach that. So first thing we need to look at is 1001 is nothing but 7 into 13 into 11. Right. If you divide 1001 by 7, what you get? 143 and 143 is nothing but 11 into 13, right? Now let us see. How do I move now? I need one of the values for sure. So what I will do as my constant term is nothing but multiplication of 7 into 13 into 11 and I see 7 here in X and 13 here in Y. I will find out first equation by putting Y equal to 0, right? First solution I will try to find out by putting Y equal to 0. The moment I put Y equal to 0, my 7X becomes 7 into 13 into 11, right? And my X will become 143. Okay, so my x first value is 143, my y's first value is 0. Now I need to find out other cases. So it is very simple. You need to find out other cases. So what you do, you increase one of the values and you decrease one of the values. So here I have x as 143, which is quite high value. Then I will try to decrease it to get other integral values for x and y is y is at 0. So I will try to increase it because if I decrease it, it will become negative solution, which is not required. We just need non-negative integral solution, which means 0 and all the positive integers. Okay. So I'm not uh, concentrating on negative solution, although we will have a solution when we decrease y and increase x then also. But for this 7x plus 13y equal to 1001, we will do the opposite here. We will decrease the x value and we will increase the y value to get the non-negative integral solution. So how does it work? So x will always be decreased by the coefficient of y. The coefficient of y is 13. And what I mean by this is that the next value of x will be 143 minus 13. So we will decrease it by the coefficient of y here. And y will increase by coefficient of x. So my coefficient of x is 7 here. And I will increase y by this value. y will increase by this value. Okay. And x will decrease by this value. Okay. So y's next value will be 0 plus 7. So I get y as 7 and I get x as how much? 130. So this way we can move. The x first value was what? 13 into 11. My x second value is 13 into 10. So we can move this way and we will see if we can find out other values also like this. So x ka third value will be 13 into 9. Y ka second value will be 7 into 2. Similar way if you move forward you will see x will have the last value as x equal to 13 into 1 and y will have last value as 7 into 10, right? That way we can find out. But we will again have one value where x will become 0 and y will have some value. So let's see that case also because the moment we uh, minus 13 here, 13 uh, from the last 13 value. So 13 minus 30 will become 0 and y will have value as 7 into 11, which will be 77. So how many values we are getting? We are getting first value as x equal to 143, y equal to 0. And then we are getting how many values? We are getting 10 values, 13 into 10, 13 into 9 till 13 into 1. And then we are getting, so these many values, 13 into 10 to 13 into 1 is 10 values. And then there are two more values. One value is y equal to 0 and x 143. And the other value is y equal to 77 and x equal to 0. So one value here and one value here. So total how many values non-negative integral solution we are getting is total 12 solution is possible. If you want to list, so x the value is going from 143 uh, onwards, 130, then uh, 117, this way we are going till 0. So this is 13 into 11, this is 13 into 10. That way we are getting till 13 into 1 and then 13 into 0. So total 12 values are there. Similarly, y's value is going from 0, 7 into 1 till 7 into 11. So 7 into 1 to 7 into 11 is 11 values and 0 is 1. So total 12 values. So total 12 values are what we are getting in this case, right? Now, the second question is asking only to find the number of positive integral solution. In the previous question, when we found out the uh, equation is same. So when we found out in the previous question, what we got? We got the first value as x equal to 143 and y equal to 0. Then we got values as x equal to 130 and y equal to 7, x equal to 117 and y equal to 7 into 2. This way we moved forward. Finally, we got x equal to 0 and y equal to 7 into 11. So this way we got all the values in the in case. But if we are just considering positive integral solution, then two of the cases will not be applicable here. This case where y is 0 will not be applicable and this case where x equal to 0 and y equal to 77 will not be applicable. Rest all 13 into 10 to 13 into 1 
and 7 into 1 to 7 into 10. All 10 values will be applicable in this case also because in these values x as well as y is positive. So total number of solution for the case of positive integral solution of my 7x plus 13y equal to 1 double 0 1 is nothing but total 10 values where x moves from 130 which is 13 into 10, 117, 13 into 9 till 13 which is 13 into 1. So total 10 values and y moves from 7 into 1 till 7 into 10. So this is what are the 10 values we have. Now let us see the next question. In this question, my 1002 is nothing but five zero one into 2, right? And this will be how much? Right, 5, 0, 1 into 2. And I can see that e, this is not divisible by 5. This is not divisible by 13. I mean, it is not divisible by 5 or 13. So I will need to do something else here. So let us see how to solve this question. So 5x will become nothing but 1 double 0, 2 minus 13y. And I need to see for what value of y, because we are just considering positive integral solution. So I need to see for what value of y, I will get an integral x. So let us uh, do the trial, hit and trial here. y equal to 1 if I put, then my 5x will be 1002 minus 13 which gives me 989. This is not a multiple of 5, so this is not a solution. y equal to 2, we get 5x equal to 1002 minus 13 into 2. So it becomes how much? 976. Again, not a multiple of 5, so this is not a solution, not giving me integral solution. y equal to 3, 5x will become 1002 minus 13 into 3. So it will become how much? 963. Again, it is not a multiple of 5. y equal to 4 if we put 5x will become 1002 minus 13 into 4, which gives me 950. So x becomes 950 by 5, which gives me 190. And this is one of the integral solutions. So what I got x equal to 190 and y equal to 4. This is my one of the integral solution. As I told you, one of the values needs to be increased and one needs to be decreased to get another value. So in this case, we will increase y by x coefficient. x coefficient is how much? 5. So we will increase y by plus 5 and we will decrease x by minus 13 because 13 is what? y's coefficient. So we will decrease. So I am writing minus to decrease it by 13. So I need to find out how much such cases will arrive. So first case, I have got x 190, y power. Second case will be x 190 minus 13 and y will be 4 plus 5, which is 9. Third case, x 190 minus 13 into 2 and then y 4 plus 5 into 2, so 14. So I just need to see, concentrate on any one of them and see how many such values are there. So to get this, I will just divide 190 by 13. So 13 ones are 13, 60, 13 fours are 52. So 14 is quotient and remainder is 8. So what happens? I can go for x till 14 values. Okay, x equal to 190 minus 13 into 14 will give me finally x ka value is 8. After this, when I uh, subtract 13 further, I will have a negative value, which is not required, which is not in my purview of this question. So how many values are there? 190, 13 into 1, say 13 into 14. So these are 14 values and one value was there of 190. So how many values we have got? We have got total of X is, y is increasing, so we don't need to check for y because obviously it will have increasing value only. So it will be a positive integral value only. So I don't need to check for y here because x is the limiting condition given by uh, this case. So total, total 15 values will be there. My x is going from 190 and 190 minus 13 becomes what? 177. Then again, if I uh, do subtract 13, then it becomes 164. Likewise, we get to final value when we, uh, we we subtract 13 into 14 from 190, which is 8. So all those values are 15 values, and these are our answer. Total 15 values are possible. So I hope you like this question. Just like and subscribe this channel. Thank you so much.